In the current issue of Fine Home Building, we did a tools and materials review of this, Tajima's new drywall rasp, which is much easier to use than it is to say. In this episode of the Tool Hound, we're going to take a closer look. Have you guys ever seen the video of Myron Ferguson doing drywall taping? It's the most infuriating thing I've ever watched because the guy never makes any mistakes and he makes it look so easy. I think about that every time I go to hang drywall because as a remodeling contractor, I don't do it often enough to be good at it. That's why I rely on one of these, a drywall rasp. This thing is much different because it has, first of all, a sleek design, which means it fits right into my nail pouch a lot easier than that bulky other one. It also doesn't have a mesh screen on it. It has this hard plastic thing that looks like chrome, and it's also a hollow back, so when you shave the drywall, it gets caught up back here, and it just kind of funnels down instead of clogging up the mesh. This is cool because it has three levels of drywall rasp. It has coarse, medium, and sort of this fine ribbed edge for getting into tight spots. Let me show you how they work. Coarse. The fine. And then it's got these ribs on the edge, which are pretty handy when you need to clean up, let's say, an electrical outlet box that you cut out and it didn't come out quite square on the edges. Though I rarely have a need for three different levels of drywall rasping, the truth of the matter is this one does a better job at three different things than a regular drywall rasp does at just one. So for 12 bucks, I'm keeping it. <laughs> 